Hello friends, this is Ravan. This is my YouTube channel, Civil Engineering Tutorial by Ravan. To subscribe my channel, click on subscribe button and click on bell icon for more interesting updates. In this video lecture, I will explain you response spectrum analysis of G plus 3 building by using ATAP software. Go to click on ATAP software initially. So click on OK. The software will be open like this. So initially we need to change the units from KIP inches to kilo Newton meter. So for that click on units here. Change the units from KIP inches to kilo Newton meter. So after changing the units, we need to create the grids in both X, Y as well as Z directions. So for that go to click on file. Click on new model here. This time selecting new model. So here we need to select no option for creating the new grid. So here we need to assume the grid dimensions, plan view da data as well as story dimensions data. So here we need to take the number of lines in X direction. Initially, just I am taking number of lines are 6. So after that we need to assume the number of lines in Y direction. Just I am taking it as 4. So after that we need to assume the spacing of X direction for each grid. Just I am taking it as 3 as well as Y spacing also 3. So after that we need to assume the story dimensions data. So here I am taking G plus 3 story building nothing but 4 slab. So just I am taking number of stories are 4 here. So typical story height is 3 meter as well as bottom story height is 4 meter. So here we need to click on grid only option. So click on OK. So the grids will be open like this. So left hand side section will be consisting of 2D view for the respective plan as well as right hand side section will be consisting of 3D elevation. So after modeling this respective grid, we need to select the IS456 as well as IS800 core. So for that go to options here, click on preference here. Here we need to select the concrete frame design. So here we need to change the ACI code to IS code initially. Just for that, just we need to select IS. Type later as I in keyboard. So it will show the uh, IS456 2000 code. So these are the values which are related to IS code. So click on OK. So after that again click on options. Click on preference. Select your steel frame design. So here we need to select the IS800 code. Next time typing letter I. Again we need to select IS800 1998 code. Click on OK. So after selecting the IS code we need to define the material properties. So material properties is nothing but grade of concrete as well as grade of steel for the respected structure. So for that go to click on define option, click on material properties option. So materials will be consisting of concrete, other material, steel member. So for this respective building just I am taking it as concrete. So click on add button. So here we need to give that material name. Just I am taking it as M20 grade concrete. So here we need to enter the design property data as per IS456 code. Just I am taking compressor strength will be 20,000. So after that we need to assume the yield stress. Just I am taking 600,000 for the yield stress value. As well as uh, we need to enter the shear reinforcement yield stress. Just I am taking 600,000 again. Click on OK button. So after that click on OK. So after that we need to define the frame sections. So frame sections is nothing but beam size as well as column size. So for that initially go to define option. Click on frame sections option. So the software was initially defined some frame sections here. So we need to delete all previous sections for the respective structure. So for that initially we need to select all sections. Click on delete property. So after deleting all sections we need to add the beam section. So for that click on add uh, rectangular section. Click on add rectangular section. So here we need to give the section name. Just I am taking section name will be consisting of 0 0.3 cross 0 0.3 is my beam size. So after that we need to select the material here from steel to M20 grade. So after that we need to give the depth T3. Just I am taking it as 0 0.3. 0 0.3 here. Again this is also 0 0.3. Click on reinforcement option. So here we need to change the design type from column to beam. So after that click on OK button. So after that click on OK. Again we need to select W44 by 335. Click on delete property. Again we need to add rectangular section for column. Just I am taking column will be consisting of 0 0.3 cross 0. Point, just I am taking 0 0.3 cross 0 0.45 is my column size. So after that select your material as M20. Again I am taking 0 0.3 here 0 0.45 for the respect to width. So after that click on reinforcement. So here we need to select the reinforcement for the respected column. This time selecting reinforcement will be consisting of a cover of 0 0.04. This time I am taking. So after that we need to select the number of bars in three direction as well as number of bars in 
टू डायरेक्शन तो जस्ट आई एम अजूमिंग थ्री डायरेक्शन विल बी कंसिस्टिंग ऑफ थ्री बार्स एज वेल एज टू डायरेक्शन विल बी कंसिस्टिंग ऑफ थ्री बार्स जस्ट वी नीड टू सेलेक्ट द बार साइज एज वेल एज कॉर्नर बार साइज फॉर द रेस्पेक्टेड कॉलम जस्ट आई एम टेकिंग बार साइज विल बी कंसिस्टिंग ऑफ टू एल डी हियर सो आफ्टर दैट वी नीड टू एडिट द कॉर्नर बार साइज जस्ट आई एम टेकिंग इट एज सिक्सटीन डी क्लिक ऑन एनफोर्समेंट टू बी चेक क्लिक ऑन ओके सो आफ्टर दैट क्लिक ऑन ओके बटन अगेन सो क्लिक ऑन ओके अगेन सो आफ्टर डिफाइनिंग द बीम साइज एज वेल एज कॉलम साइज जस्ट वी नीड टू डिफाइन द स्लैब थिकनेस फॉर द रेस्पेक्टेड स्ट्रक्चर सो फॉर दैट अगेन गो टू डिफाइन ऑप्शन क्लिक ऑन वॉल स्लैब डेक्स सेक्शन ऑप्शन डिलीट ऑल प्रीवियस सेक्शन सिमिलरली क्लिक ऑन सेलेक्ट यूर स्लैब ऑप्शन यर एड न्यू स्लैब जस्ट वी नीड टू गिव द सेक्शन नेम जस्ट आई एम टेकिंग सेक्शन नेम विल बी एस वन ट्वेंटी फाइव सो आफ्टर दैट वी नीड टू टेक द मेटीरियल हियर जस्ट आई एम सेलेक्टिंग मेटीरियल इज एम ट्वेंटी ग्रेड सो आफ्टर दैट वी नीड टू गिव द थिकनेस जस्ट आई एम टेकिंग वन ट्वेंटी फाइव जीरो पॉइंट वन टू फाइव फॉर द रेस्पेक्टेड मेम्रेन सेक्शन एज वेल एज बेंडिंग सेक्शन सो हियर वी नीड टू सेलेक्ट द स्लैब एज मेम्रेन क्लिक ऑन ओके सो आफ्टर दैट सेलेक्ट यूर वॉल ओन क्लिक ऑन डिलीट सेक्शन क्लिक ऑन ओके सो आफ्टर डिफाइनिंग द बीम साइज कम कॉलम साइज एज वेल एज स्लैब थिकनेस वी नीड टू असाइन दो प्रॉपर्टीज फॉर द रेस्पेक्टिव बिल्डिंग सो फॉर दैट इनिशियली वी नीड टू सेलेक्ट ऑल स्टोरीज जस्ट आई एम सेलेक्टिंग वन स्टोरी टू द ऑल स्टोरीज ऑप्शन हियर सो आफ्टर दैट वी नीड टू सेलेक्ट द असाइनमेंट ऑफ द बीम कमेंट सो हियर आई एम सेलेक्टिंग असाइनमेंट ऑफ बीम एज क्रिएट लाइन्स इन रीजन सो हियर वी नीड टू सेलेक्ट द बीम प्रॉपर्टी जस्ट आई एम टेकिंग बीम प्रॉपर्टी विल बी कंसिस्टिंग ऑफ जीरो पॉइंट थ्री बाई जीरो पॉइंट थ्री सो ड्रैक टू द रेस्पेक्टिव प्लान मॉडल सो इट विल असाइन द बीम सेक्शन फॉर दिस रेस्पेक्टिव बिल्डिंग सो आफ्टर दैट वी नीड टू सेलेक्ट द क्रिएट एरियाज फॉर द स्लैब सेक्शन सो जस्ट आई एम सेलेक्टिंग क्रिएट एरियाज अगेन ड्रैक टू द रेस्पेक्टिव स्ट्रक्चर सो इट विल असाइन द स्लैब सेक्शन फॉर दिस रेस्पेक्टिव बिल्डिंग सो आफ्टर दैट वी नीड टू असाइन द कॉलम्स सो फॉर दैट सेलेक्ट यूर आई सेक्शन सो चेंज द प्रॉपर्टी फ्रॉम द बीम टू कॉलम जस्ट आई एम चेंजिंग द प्रॉपर्टी हियर सो आफ्टर दैट अगेन ड्रैक टू द रेस्पेक्टिव प्लान मॉडल सो दिस इज माई मॉडल विच इज कंसिस्टिंग ऑफ बीम साइज एज वेल एज कॉलम साइज एज वेल एज स्लैब सो आफ्टर असाइनिंग द बीम कॉलम स्लैब जस्ट वी नीड टू गो टू सेट बिल्डिंग व्यू ऑप्शन क्लिक ऑन ऑब्जेक्ट फिल अप्लाई टू ऑल विंडोज क्लिक ऑन ओके सो इट विल डिस्प्ले द ऑल स्ट्रक्चर लाइक दिस सो इट विल बी कंसिस्टिंग ऑफ जीरो पॉइंट थ्री बाई जीरो पॉइंट थ्री इज माई बीम साइज जीरो पॉइंट फोर फाइव क्रॉस जीरो पॉइंट थ्री इज द कॉलम साइज एज वेल एज स्लैब थिकनेस विल बी कंसिस्टिंग ऑफ वन ट्वेंटी फाइव एम एम आफ्टर असाइनिंग द प्रॉपर्टीज सो वी नीड टू डिलीट ऑल द बीम्स एंड कॉलम्स एज वेल एज स्लैब एट द बेस सो फॉर दैट गो टू सेलेक्ट ऑप्शन सो सेलेक्ट योर स्टोरी लेवल सेलेक्ट योर बेस जस्ट आई एम सेलेक्टिंग माई बेस फॉर द रेस्पेक्टिव बिल्डिंग क्लिक ऑन डिलीट ऑप्शन सो इट विल डिलीट ऑल द properties at the base for the respective structure so after that uh, we need to see the respective model in uh, extrusion mode nothing but 3d rendering mode so for that go to click on this right mark click on uh, object extrusion apply to all windows click on okay so this is the 3d rendering view for the respective structure so it will be consisting of uh, m20 grade as well as fe 600 grade steel properties so for this respective building we need to analyze the response spectrum analysis so for that initially we need to define the load cases so for that go to define option click on uh, load static load cases so here we need to define the load cases initially so dead load as well as live load is already defined for this respective building so here we need to define the earthquake load initially just i'm taking earthquake load in x direction so here we need to select the type next i'm selecting type is quick so here we need to select the is code from auto lateral load so just i am picking is 1893 2000 code click on add button so after that we need to select the earthquake load in y direction just i am taking in y direction click on add button so after defining the earthquake load in x direction option as well as earthquake load in y direction option we need to define the properties like uh, seismic zone factor as well as uh, uh, soil type for this respect to earthquake load so for that select your earthquake load in x direction click on modify lateral load so here we need to select the direction as x so here we need to select the per code value nothing but seismic zone so just i am selecting seismic zone is uh, fifth zone which is consisting of 0.36 is my factor so after that we need to select the soil type here just it will be consisting of 1 2 3 here so just i am taking medium soil for this respective case so we need to assume the response reduction factor as 5 click on okay so after that select your earthquake load in y go to modify select in y direction so here we need to select the medium soil as well as per code value will be 0.36 click on okay so click on okay so after defining this respective load cases we need to assign to the respective building 
so for that initially we need to select all the building go to assign option go to join point loads click on force option for assigning the self weight of the respective structure so click on add to existing loads so here we need to take the values of global x direction as well as x x y y z z as one 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 click on ok so it will assign the self weight for this respective building so after that we need to see this respective model in uh, object field option so for that go to click on right mark here so click on object field deselect the ex extrusion apply to all windows click on ok so this is the object field option for the respective model so after assigning the dead load we need to assign the live load for this respective building so for that initially we need to select the slab portion for that go to select option wall slab deck sections select s125 again go to assign shell area load uniform so here we need to select the dead load to live load option click on add to existing load this time selecting live load will be consisting of two in gravity direction click on ok so it will assign the live load for this respective building so after assigning dead load as well as live load we need to assign the earthquake load in x direction as well as earthquake load in y direction so for that initially we need to select all the building go to assign option shell area load uniform load this we need to take the load case name as earthquake load in x direction add to existing load so just we need to take the uniform load which is 50 percentage of the live load just i am taking it as one in global x direction click on ok so after that we need to assign the earthquake load in y direction so after that for that go to select all the building go to assign option again go to shell area loads uniform load earthquake load in y direction here we need to select global y click on add to existing loads click on ok so it will assign the earthquake load in y direction for this respective building so after that we need to assign the supports for the structure so for that go to select option story level select your base click on ok so go to assign joint point restraints select your fixed support here so click on ok so it will assign the fixed support for this respective structure so after assigning the supports we need to assign the diaphragm for this respective building diaphragm is nothing but the center point of the building for the respective structure so for that go to select all the building go to assign joint point diaphragm extent select d1 here click on ok so by default it will assign the diaphragm for this respective building in 3d view so for assigning the diaphragm for the plan view we need to go to select building view option click on diaphragm extent other special items so apply to all windows click on ok so it will assign the diaphragm for this respective building so after uh, applying the diaphragms we need to analyze this respective structure for the static analysis case so for that go to analyze for initially click on run analysis option so here we need to select the set dynamic parameters just i'm taking it as 12 click on ok so after that go to analyze again click on check models for any errors select your line checks for the respected model just i'm selecting one two three line checks click on ok so here my model is observed with uh, zero errors so again click on cancel go to analyze option click on run analysis so it will analyze the respective structure so initially we need to save this respective model just i'm taking desktop rsa g plus 3 just i'm typing name as g plus 3 here click on ok so it is analyzing the respective structure due to presence of the dead load as well as live load and earthquake load so the building will be deflect in right hand side portion due to presence of the dead load case so click on animation start animation button the building will be deflect like this due to presence of the uh, dead load case sulfate structure so after that we can change the respective deflection diagram to the dead load to the earthquake load so for that go to display show deform shape here click on the deform shape select your load case as earthquake load in x direction click on ok so this is the deflection due to presence of the earthquake load in x direction for the respective building so we can see the this respective deflection in elevation view so select one elevation so this is a deflection due to presence of the x direction so after that go to click on 3d view for the respective building so after analysis part is completed we need to do the response spectrum analysis for the respective same building so for that initially we need to define the response spectrum case so for that go to unlock your model initially click on ok so go to your define option select your response spectrum functions here so for this respect to response spectrum function we need to choose the function type just i am choosing my function type is 
is 1893 2002 spectrum so click on add new spectra so here we need to give the function name initially just i'm taking function name is rsa nothing but response spectrum analysis so after that we need to select the parameters uh, like zone factor as well as soil type just i'm taking the zone factor will be 0 0.36 as well as soil type is 2 click on ok so after that click on ok button again again go to define option here we need to click on response spectrum cases so for defining the response spectrum cases so click on add button so here i am taking response spectrum analysis for the respected structure which is consisting of 0 0.05 is the damping so here we need to select the input response spectra for the respected response spectrum analysis just we need to pick rsa 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 here just we need to take the angle as 90 just i'm assuming this time taking eccentricity ratio as one click on ok so click on ok again so after defining these respective response spectra analysis cases again go to analyze option click on run analysis option so here we need to see the response spectra analysis for the respective structure so we can change the respective display displacement value for the respective response spectrum analysis so for that go to display again go to show deform shape here we need to select the load type as response spectra click on ok so this is the deflection due to presence of the response spectrum analysis the building is deflecting in downward direction due to presence of the both earthquake load in x direction as well as earthquake load in y direction after response spectral analysis completed we can see the deflection value as well as the shear value bending value so for that go to display option so here we need to click on member show member forces select your frame spandrilla forces here just we need to select the component here just i'm selecting shear two to nothing but shear force in x direction so click on ok button so this is a shear force in x direction for the respective building again go to display go to member forces shear spandrilla forces we need to take moment two to nothing but moment in x direction so this is the bending moment diagram so after that go to display option so go to show member forces click on stress type next time taking stress type is f maximum click on ok so this is the f maximum stress for the respect to response spectrum analysis so after uh, checking the shear force bending moment diagrams we need to see the output file for the respected uh, response spectrum analysis case like deflection value shear value as well as bending moment value so for that go to display option click on show tables so here we need to select the uh, tables here just i'm taking story drift value nothing but the deflection so after that we can take the more building output value from this building output value just i'm selecting story shears so here we need to select the response spectrum load for the respective results so for that click on select cases or combinations so for this respective building we need to take rsa spectra click on ok so click on ok button so it will generate the respective models so here we need to take the models as story drift values so this is the story drift value for the respective building so it will be consisting of 0 0.30883 is the top story deflection so after that it will be consisting of 0 0.001548 is the uh, bottom deflection for the respective building so after that go to select your shear nothing but shear force as well as uh, axial force for the respective building so this p value indicates the axial force uh, vx is the shear force in x direction as well as vy is the shear force in y direction t is the building torsion mx is the bending moment in x direction and y is the bending moment in y direction for the respective building so this is the process response spectrum analysis of g plus 3 building by using e-type software thank you